to Pencil with Poppy. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to do. Uh, my name is Shannon Gordon, but my grandkids call me Poppy. And part of the reason I'm doing this is so that I can teach uh, future generations of my children and grandchildren uh, how to draw. Um, I learned how to draw, uh, you know, I started drawing when I was really young, um, but I really never got very good at it until about uh, the end of junior high, the beginning of high school. Uh, I started taking drafting classes and that I really enjoyed and it was then that I started thinking uh, I wanted to become an architect. Then when I went to college, I uh, uh, ran into a, a gentleman named Mike Lynn that really taught me uh, a lot of the basics. He, he broke down the basic drawing skills and taught them as skills as opposed to it being some uh, born with uh, uh, tool. Uh, he, he broke it down to a point where you could learn how to draw each particular way. And then uh, I also kind of stumbled onto a, a friend of his, his name is Thomas Wang, and he was also one of my uh, great inspirations. I uh, evolved my style out of watching those two uh, draw. So uh, what I wanted to do today is just introduce myself and then uh, I'm going to show you a few of my drawings um, just to give you an idea of what I do. I'm, I'm putting out a, a wide variety of these. I won't be doing any of the uh, uh, true drawing skills until uh, subsequent uh, pieces of this. So uh, let me get on with um, showing you some of the drawings. You have to pardon my uh, old-fashioned filming capabilities. I'm just going to show you paper printouts of my drawings. Uh, I'm a landscape architect. This is um, a little sketch I did for Schofield Barracks down in Hawaii. This was for a installation design guideline that I did down there with um, J.L. Bruce and Company and uh, Here are some, this is a little signage package uh, for a project here at the Bass Pro Shops uh, in Independence. It shows all the different sign designs. Here's the legends at Sparks Marina in Sparks, Nevada. This is the central feature that includes a, a big tower feature that then our, our original plans were that uh, they would be spring-loaded, fill with water, and then dump the water out. Uh, the tower that's built there is very similar to this, but uh, the water part of it is not in it. This is the Summit Fair uh, central tower feature, just one of the preliminary sketches that I did real quickly. This is a, a library edition in Missouri Valley, uh, Iowa. I really love that tree. It's kind of a transparent, fun thing. This is a project in... Um, in Hangzhou, China. I was out there for a while working. Kind of an interesting, fun thing. This is a, an elevation of a uh, entrance into a community, to a gated community. This is a uh, central feature of a campus at uh, UMKC. This is a little sign elevation that uh, identifies uh, for a housing development, uh, it separates the golf course from the living areas. This is the home time house. I don't know if you, any of you are old enough to know what the home time house is, but uh, I did this back in, uh, I think it was 1989. There's a pencil sketch. And then this is a little, uh, I call it a Jenga tower. Uh, we did this for the Bass Pro Shops, uh, the falls of Cracker Neck Creek in Independence. And this is a streetscape sketch I did for a, a little industrial area up in St. Joseph, Missouri. This is the ex-Sarban Village Tower in Omaha, Nebraska. This is a Lakewood uh, Homeowners Association Improvement Project, a bridge renovation. This is a close-up on the, the falls at Crackernet Creek, the Bass Pro Shop Project. 
And this is for Exarban Village in Omaha. We did a, uh, a little transit study. These are some of the, or one of my little quick scribbles to just kind of show what we were thinking about for that. Here's the Camp Zama uh, entrance gate. Now, there are some pieces of Photoshop in here. The lettering and those kinds of things are Photoshopped. This is a uh, uh, military project overseas. I can't really say where it is. This is a park shelter. And this is a, a section of an aquatics facility in Independence. And this is a depot at a park. And I also like to do cars. This is one of my brother-in-law's friend's cars. This is an entrance to the Hollywood Casino that here in Kansas City, but um, we ended up not going with this concept. This one had uh, uh, LED lights. The, the letters would change color and have LED uh, images, pictures and things in them, and it was a little bit too much for them. It's just a little planned demonstration drawing I did for a workshop uh, that I did down in Oklahoma. Kind of give you an idea of planned drawing. This is what it would look like from the sky. And this is a rendering of a buddy's motorcycle that I did for him. This is a series of uh, little walls that we proposed at KU uh, when I was at Jeff Bruce's office. That's the lower section. And then that's the tall section. And then this is the piece that goes in between them. Just kind of showing all the different uh, ways we could separate space. This is a friend's uh, uh, Oldsmobile. Uh, I did a little quick sketch for him. It's kind of a fun one. This is the Liberty Memorial here in Kansas City. Just a little quick pencil sketch that I did. Uh, I actually gave it away as a as a uh, Christmas gift. Uh, this is Grandview Main Street and uh, it's in Grandview, Missouri. Just a little archway that I designed. And then this is my brother-in-law David's um, uh, old Nova. It's a 66. And that's all I want to show you for this evening. Um, I look forward to making uh, Lots of new videos. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to teach you a few things. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I guess I'm going to start my first time saying uh, uh, until next time, learn it, master it, and share it. Thanks.